Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 as Austria. Uh, today we'll start with the, the World Congress again. But other than that, I don't have any other plans because uh, the AIs became so unpredictable that it's almost impossible to plan anything. So we just try to get as far as possible and yeah. The plan is still the same, rush telecommunications, try to end this game before the AIs like, uh, conquer so many city-states that the diplomatic victory becomes impossible. Uh, okay, let's start with the World Congress. We will try... Oh, first of all, how many votes do we have? 39. So far, so good. We still have a pretty significant lead, even though we are losing city-states. So this, at least, is good news. And I will try to sanction, or oh, will try, I will sanction, um, where is it, Ottomans. Incover already sanctioned, Poland seems to be friendly for now, so I'll probably sanction Ottomans, then maybe sanction Sweden if they're still annoying, and uh, maybe at some point liberate uh, Polynesia if we have time for that. But we will see how quickly we will be able to get to telecommunications. Okay, so let's propose this. And now I think we can just end the turn. Oh, wait. I wanted to... Come on, show me my spies. Yeah, I wanted to move one of my spies. Uh, let's see, potential... You don't have anyone in Cusco, right? So we'll move someone to Cusco. Because we start those three quests that would give us, like, a whole tech, probably. Uh, let's see, Zanzibar, Tire, and Ormus. Ormus... Is fine, so we can move out of there. Tira is fine as well. And Zanzibar, where is Zanzibar? Uh, we should probably move someone to Mombasa. Zanzibar is here somewhere. Or oh, there. Um, okay, so Zanzibar will just be conquered. Hmm. Most likely, Laventa will be conquered. This is just so frustrating. Well, that means we can move all three spies. We can move one to Wellington. One to Samarkand. And that's enough. Wellington, Samarkand. And the last one will move to Cusco. There we go. And once we get Atomic Theory, we'll move one more spy to another Incan city because I really want to uh, finish those quests. That's so much science. Look at that. Atomic Theory is now worth. Let's say 13,000. And from those quests, we can get almost 9,000. So it's almost a whole tag. Because science is the only yield that we basically basically care about at this point. And it's uh, like a really nice boost. It'll speed up uh, telecommunications pretty significantly. Okay. Only tile that's worth working now. Now we can end the turn. A flight. I should start buying bombers. I was thinking about uh, getting uh, uh, B-17s, but uh, we need two tenants for that. 
No, it's probably not worth it. Just get slightly better planes and invest uh, like, so much culture into it, basically. It's better to finish rationalism and then invest the faith that I'm saving up into scientists. And again, I think we should be able to get access to the rationalism finisher before we get the telecommunications. So basically, uh, we will just fade by all the science you'll be missing and uh, try to end the game as quickly as possible, as I said. Next. Problem is now when we can't use trade routes, or well, can't use, actually I can use trade routes. What I could do is just buy some caravans and send one to Riga and then two more to Gdansk and Poznan that could work. What is this? Oh, they want me to start flipping people. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. It's a lot of influence. Uh, but 100 uh, great person points at this point is actually not that much. It's definitely not worth it. Let me check our... We have four followers. Do we have... We actually have religious divisions. Okay, fine. Let's waste a little bit of faith. And we'll buy one Inquisitor. That's one thing. Now those trade routes. I can't buy a caravan? Seriously? Okay, let's get the caravan ready. It will allow me to buy caravans. And how much money do we have? 40,000. Now let's start buying bombers. Pretty expensive, but we need like five. We should get the money for that. Okay, important thing is that we can get the, the extra operational range, even if we buy them. That's all that we really care about. You want iron. Do I want to give you iron? How much iron do we have? Okay, I'll give you one iron. As a sign of friendship, and hopefully he's not gonna attack. Um... Hmm. Listen, I don't want to sell you... Actually, maybe I could sell him some iron. And as usual, if you can hear the noise in the background, I apologize. But it's my cat saying hello. Um, hmm. Which units are using iron currently? I don't think we have any units that are using iron. Okay, I'll just sell two copies maybe and we'll get 10 gold per return for this trade. That sounds reasonable. Musician. Yeah. What are we supposed to do with musician? Okay. Uh, caravans. Should probably just uh, build them because currently um, we can invest gold into other things. Question is, do I want to finish the seaport first? I think it can wait. Let's get those caravans because uh, those should give us uh, culture and science. That that's what we need more than production from the seaport. But again, city wants Taoism. Twenty-four hundred faith, and could do this. It's probably worth it. That's twelve hundred free free faith. We invest, where is it, 1200 into a missionary. And then we get double the amount back. 
plus some uh, uh, influence on top of that, of course. Homer, stay in the city, of course. And we buy another one. There's, there's the Inquisitor, so we want to pop him in the capital. Good. Now only one citizen is not following our religion. Good. And the, the musician will just... Go to Poland, you'll get the happiness and influence over city-states. I actually checked the buildings that we still can get and I didn't find a single one that would have uh, slots for great mu great works of music. So musicians are kinda useless to us at this point. Fortify. And the first one, 191931. 19, yeah, I want the science more than the extra culture. So let's start with Riga. But we definitely want all three uh, because the yields from both Gdansk and Gdansk and Pozna are also decent. And also, it's two trade routes to Poland, so it's. I think slightly decreases the chance of them attacking. Wellington declared war, yeah, whatever. How does it look like with uh, our spies? Surveillance. They are still traveling. And watch how Sweden declares war on this turn, and I lose the missionary. On Sweden, not this turn. Two, three. You are giving me cotton. Sure, I'll take that. Uh, Poland declare on Indonesia. Great. That will keep him busy for a while. And we have a great merchant that is useful. We need more money for our bombers. You will go to Poznan, that's the last trade route. And you can go south. Up this guy. Oh, we still have quite some time before we enter Atomic Era. I was thinking maybe it was worth waiting. I realized it too late, but we are still like 20 turns away uh, with, the, with the scientists, maybe 15 turns away from Atomic Era and the increase these yields wouldn't be that significant. Okay, as we get pretty lucky, this actually won't be enough. Hmm. Worst case scenario, I send one more, and we get the investment back, and get the influence on top of it. At this point, when I invested 1200, I should probably finish what I started. What is this? Casimir entered modern era, Suleiman entered modern era. And I forgot to buy another bomber. There we go. World Congress expands infrastructure. Plus two per city-state ally. Yeah, but we don't have the world ideology available yet, so global hegemony is not available. Seriously? I don't get anything when I pop him? How am I supposed to flip the state?
I hope this is worth it. Uh, okay, choose host. Well, that's easy. But uh, now we are actually weaker. Okay, let's wait for the second missionary. Fortify. Next. And I hope the missionary is not losing strength inside city-state territory. I don't think so. I think it's only in, inside the territory of the major saves. I just want to make sure. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, another golden age. both Indonesia and Poland voted for us I think that decreases the chance that Poland would attack again the Inca and Ottomans voted for Poland what the hell Oh, another bomber. Go. How are our spies doing? One more turn to establish surveillance. And go. Hmm. Well, it sucks. The problem is I can't move our most experienced spy from Vienna because, like, everyone has one spy in Vienna. I have to protect my capital. And we can buy another bomber. Our country is tied together. Okay, first of all, get that last bomber. Eight. Oh, come on. Need one more.
Oof, that was close. Okay, at least we get the investment back. Fortify. Now, what are we supposed to do with the diplomat? Listen. There's no point in fighting. Can we just stop that? That the diploma will just stay in our capital and if somehow, at some point, we stop fighting, we'll use him to flip one of the city-states. Uh, Mombasa probably. 173. That's a lot. Is it safe to send him? It's pretty close to Ottomans. No, I have to wait for the peace treaty, I think. Okay, next. Open borders. I don't think so. Willing to trade with you, but I don't want to give you open borders. I don't want his armies moving through my territory. Oh, hey. So, I'll check with the things. He can conquer Vienna. That is the reward. Let's see, how much damage can we do? And with the extra citizen... We can work more specialist slots. How does it look like with the great engineer? Seven turns. Uh, only I was using my brain from time to time. I was like, okay, let's get free thought so that we get those, those extra yields from scientists. And one turn before we get free thought, I pop a scientist. Oh well. Book three we want now let's get the circus actually no let's let's cancel the circus we can wait for the next era to get a little bit more from it we can get the constabulary that's one turn then we can get how much money do we have? 1800. Let's pay for the minefield and even get that first. Then we get the museum. That's what. It's long enough. Then we get the circus. I don't think that the agribusiness is really worth it. They don't need coal refinery, so we don't need these three buildings. And maybe we can start with the foreign bureau. Next. What does it look like with the next golden age? That's gonna take a while. So this artist that we get now, we can pop him. Actually, in, in seven turns, when we enter a new era, then we pop him for golden age. And we are about to lose the cargo ship. Somehow it survived for a pretty long time. Can I still protect it? Let's see. It's an easy kill. You will stay in the city for now. And now our bomber is... And attack the cruiser. And the other one as well. And maybe... Cargo ship still survives. Uh, you are at war. You know, why are all these 
frigates in such a bad shape. <laughs> Weird. Next. By the way, how expensive? Oh, you want to peace out? Sure. Yeah, now he's friendly. Markon seeks war against Sweden. I have a feeling it is going to happen at some point without me trying. He rigged some elections. Actually, made us well friendly. Which are we missing? So Wellington. It's these two. Can we peace out with Soliman? I need to send my great diplomat south. Oh. And yeah, no one can trade with this guy, never mind. Fortify. Nothing left to attack. Nope. So we can repair our planes. Fortify. Next. Come on, Suleiman. Let's end this. You want an embassy? Sure. And we can probably also sell him something. Or not. Not. You'll be able to send him our chocolate. It's probably... Poland selling them chocolate now. Okay. Yeah, keep working on the railroad. And what I wanted to check is the cost of profits actually. So we it's probably too much because if we got uh two profits and use them for holy sites that would give us another vote in the world congress but i think at this point the investment is not worth it it's better to save up and use it on those scientists to get to telecommunications earlier next But I have a feeling that unless the world somehow calms down, uh, we may not be able to get enough votes because uh, uh, we'll just lose too many city-states or too many city-states will get conquered. And we'll have to go with plan B and just get a science victory. Do I any wonders that we can build? No. Just thinking what I'm supposed to do with the the engineer that we are about to get. Because we can't boost the production of Manhattan Project. Now we want to peace out. Great. Now we can send a great diplomat and get Mombasa back. This is interesting. So, he is spying on his vassal and telling me that his vassal is about to attack me when he is the, the only one who can get give the order for the vassal to attack. So he's basically telling me, hey, dude, I'm ordering my vassal to attack you. There we go, we got the alliance with Wellington back. That's good because uh, uh, the monopoly on Wales gives us more science. The engineer will stay in the capital, of course. And how long? Five turns. Good. Now, oh, the great diplomat. Uh, how can I get him? 
Might be easier to just get him here. Oh, we have another one. Okay, let's send both. I hope we have enough time to get them in position. Where is the other one? Here. Go. They are pretty fast, but still. Whenever I try to send a diplomat somewhere, I lose him. Is plotting against me. Yeah, that's not a surprise. Now I think it's a, a Swedish turn to attack. <clears throat> Where can you go? I think I have strategic monopoly on call. Next. Yeah, well, when you are attacking me over and over again, then don't be surprised that I'm going to do something about that. <laughs> this guy's amazing. Okay, welcome to Atomic Era. What are we gonna do with our new spy? Try to send him as a spy. I really want those quests finished, but... Probably not gonna happen. Oh, and we have uranium. We actually have two tiles with uranium. Indonesia has some uranium. I don't see any uranium inside the Ottoman territory. But we don't have complete vision. What about Sweden? There is a little bit, but actually this is in range. They can just buy the tile. Checking you will have nukes. This looks like Japanese territory. Okay, I don't mind if Japan has nukes. Here is more uranium for Sweden. There will be some uranium for the Inca. At some point they will get this tile. Okay, so we probably want to ban nuclear weapons. We basically build our nuclear weapons most likely and then ban them. Sounds like a plan. Oh, and this is something I forget about. Someone even told me in comments that I should get uh, Statue of Liberty. I wanted to switch to biology to get it. And I forgot, so we still have 13 turns. I think we're gonna lose it. And uh, Statue of Liberty is a free social policy that would give us the rationalism finisher earlier. Uh, that was a mistake. I knew that that was something I wanted to do. Oh well. Okay, worker, move back. Let's improve that uranium. Um, I'll save my engineers. In case we get the Statue of Liberty, I'll just rush it with engineers in basically one turn. Or maybe we could buy some production and then use the engineer. But I have a feeling it will be gone before we get to it. How long until we get the next scientist? 22 turns, that's too light. Oh, that was a mistake. 
right there. What's this? In the uranium and the right there we can pop right away. Guys can keep moving. Good. I wanted to pop our artist as well. 13 turns, and we definitely don't get another golden age in 13 turns, so I may as well pop this guy right now. Can we get a little bit more than 13 turns? No, probably not. 13 up to 35, good. And in 35 turns, we hopefully get another natural golden age. Next. Nope. We don't need aluminum. Let's switch the Manhattan Project. Circus can still wait. I think if I should up both in Mombasa or go to Brussels where is Brussels up here how much are we missing 29 oh whatever let's go to Brussels I want a strong alliance with the cultured city-state next Oh, sure. I'll definitely sell you my coal before I embargo you. That sounds like a good plan. There you go. Enjoy the chocolate. Uh, we don't have an embassy? Let's get an embassy as well. Although maybe that was uh, beneficial to him more than to us. Six gold per turn really doesn't mean that much. And he gets a lot of happiness from extra luxury. Okay, those are some nice yields. And now... Scholars in residence. We don't want... How many votes do you have? Seven. I'm not sure that I have enough votes. The everything that I want. Let's invest N votes here. Inca have six. It's eleven. I'll invest twelve votes against this and try to sanction Ottomans. I hope we don't end up losing all of this. The scholars of residence. Wouldn't be the end of the world if this passed, but uh, it would make things difficult or more difficult. And um, I want the research to be as slow as possible for the people who are behind. This is risky. Hopefully, we have enough votes to do anything we want in the World Congress. We'll find out now. Fingers crossed. And next turn he's gonna complain that I voted against this proposal. Come on, come on, come on. Show me the results. Good. 
Repeal. Uh, okay, let's get rid of this. It's actually good that I delayed the citrus because that will uh, reset the truffles. I don't think that we can buy truffles. Actually, we can buy truffles from Sweden. Okay, never mind. So, it's failed. Good. This failed as well. He got what? Oh, that was close. Okay, so we got lucky there, and this passed 19 quite easily. Good. So, more proposals. I was thinking about sanctioning Sweden. But it seems that they calmed down. What other options do we have? The colonization would be an option. But I think the most problematic SIF uh, is Indonesia. And they are kind of friendly. So I don't want to go against them. Global liberation... Yeah, I think I'll go with global liberation, just uh, uh, liberate the um, Polynesia that hurts the Inca. Other than that, port system, base load regulation, sphere of influence. It seems that we don't need United Nations for diplomatic victory. But maybe, guys, if you know this i really have no experience with with diplomatic victory uh but from what i've read i it seems that i don't need to build united nations to get the diplomatic victory but in case i'm wrong please let me know in comments so maybe in the next world congress i can uh suggest this or suggest propose this okay fine uh, let's go with the global liberation there It. Next. Okay, Poland is happy with my proposals. Uh, it's not surprising they've been fighting with Indonesia uh, for a very long time. Now Suleiman declared on Indonesia. Indonesia might be in trouble. Are you still at war? Suleiman. Actually, wait. No, I vassalized. I vassalized. I embargoed Suleiman, not Indonesia. And here it is. I'm confused again. Sanction placed on Indonesia. What? When did that happen? Yeah, I sanctioned the Inca and the Ottomans, but how the hell did this happen? I don't want Indonesia sanctioned. Who did that? When did that happen? Hmm, whatever, I'm just confused again. If anybody remembers when Indonesia got sanctioned, please let me know in comments. Okay. Brussels desires trade drought. Brussels is here. This is worth the investment, even if you lose the, the cargo ship. I think I can even pay for it. We now have 6,000 gold. Just worth it for the food. We now have quite a few specialist slots. We are not working. We want probably to work both tiles with uranium. So we need more people. Next. Okay. This is my ally. How does it look like with our second diplomat? He just arrived. Next.
Probably have to get rid of one rifleman once we get the nuke. Because then we would go over the cap. Brussels request units. No, Brussels should be fine. Brexide material spread to Vatican. Uh, how is it possible that this tile has gold? This one doesn't. This tile is definitely better. At least for now, until we improve this. And there is biology. Good. We are allied with Mombasa. So do we control all the city-states? I think this is for the first time that we control all the city-states. It's also because like six were already conquered. Uh, this goes to Brussels. Where are you? There. And we can also get the Statue of Liberty. How much production is that? 2900? Let's pay for it. I'll finish it. Great. I really thought that we would lose it, but somehow still managed to get it. That gives us empiricism, but more importantly, next turn we get rights of man and rationalism finisher, and then we pop all the scientists. Uh, what is this cargo ship? Oh, that's the one that was going to like Genoa or somewhere. Uh, that's Brussels. I'm checking if we have another quest for a trade route. No, we don't. What's the safest one? Probably to Riga. Uh, how's, oh, we already have trade route to Riga, okay. So, this is gonna be Genoa. Sucks that I can't decide the, uh, the trade route that it goes this way, because that would be much safer. Next. Indonesia captured an Ottoman city. Wow, that is unexpected. If anything, I would expect Indonesia to start losing pretty heavily. Look at our religion. I just noticed. Look at Indonesia, how well they are spreading our religion. Almost all of their cities are following our religion and they are even... Pushing Ottomans. Look at that. I wasn't paying attention to that because we really don't care about religion too much. But they have to actually doing a really good job. Okay, here's the quest reward. Uh, there is Manhattan Project, so let's get rid of... I said let's get rid of... Hello! Doesn't want to be disbanded. Dude. I'm sorry, but 
has to happen. Where is the nuke? And here's the last social policy. Uh, food in cities for every two non-specialist citizens. Well, that's not much for us. Two production and gold from villages. Yeah, this doesn't give us much. Okay, so here's the finisher. And... Uh, Swap. This and we can pay for this as well. Because I want to build everything and then just uh, invest everything into research, most likely. But what I want to see is the cost of scientists. 2000. Should be able to buy two and the third one pretty soon. How many techs are we still missing? Medical lab. It's not that important. Refrigeration allows us to create the offshore platform, but it's gonna be something that's uh, that will get pillaged immediately if someone declares war. So we can't rely on the oil from the sea tile. A police station is not a big deal. Here is Watchley Park. Oh, we'll have a research lab long before we get to this. Spies. But leveling up all existing spies can be important. Hmm. You know what? Let's actually rush computers. And then we finished communications. Telecommunications, I mean. Blotchley Park can be pretty important. What else is there? After this, it's just telecommunications. You can still get the, the CN Tower, but at this point it's going to be all about the Congress. Okay, fine, but um, uh, I think we are done for this episode. So, as usual, I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.